Hello there. Welcome to Sumit Academy. I hope that you are keeping up with my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss out on my previous or future videos. In this video, the third in the series of seven videos on the selection procedure at the Services Selection Boards or SSBs, we shall continue to learn about the main testing procedure. The second test in the series of psychological tests is the word association test or the WAT. Taking about 20 minutes from the start of the instructions to the time you are asked to stop writing, it is the secondary and confirmatory test for assessment of personality by the psychologist. It substantiates and corroborates what a candidate reveals about self in the thematic appreciation test or TAT. The feelings, thoughts, emotions and ideas expressed in the responses will reveal your personality. So be careful. It too is a test of imagination and you are free to respond in your own way. You will be shown 60 words, 60 words, one after the another. Some idea obviously will come to your mind on seeing a word. Express the first idea that comes to your mind on seeing the, say, the word. Each word is shown for 15 seconds. You have to read the word and record your idea within that as no separate time is given for you to write your sentence. So 15 seconds from the time the word is shown till the next word comes on. You may of course leave that blank if no idea comes to your mind. And yes, it, it is not a test of your English language, but fluency in English will always help you here. Writing 10 or more word responses will result in missing out a word now and then, increasing your pressure and tension. Do not let this adversely affect your performance. Avoid thinking too much or taking too long a time to decide on the next word. Now, keep in mind that a minimum of three words are required for a sentence to be considered complete. You can't say I am okay. That's not a sentence. Otherwise, no credit is given. It is the quality of response that is important not attempting all the 16 words, but then you should at least attempt 55 words if you really want to get through. You should avoid words like should, would, can, may, might, must, ought, do and don't. Develop your mind by constantly practicing with all words you come across as clarity in thought process shall bring qualitative change in the responses. Your beliefs, morals and values will be assessed in this test. Certain words generate a positive feeling and emotion. Do practice at home with positive ideas and words. Make as many sentences for each word as you can so that you can eliminate all negative ideas. Focus on developing a thought process as to how to reduce, remove, eliminate and overcome the ill effects or harm it causes. Practice couple of negative words changing them into positive words. 
to develop your ideas. How do you go about it? Simple as usual, do a Google search for positive and negative words and then go at it. You may be mentally exhausted by now, but the SSB is not done with you as yet. You will now move on to the third test in the series of psychological tests and that is the situation reaction test, the SRT. Unlike the thematic appreciation test or TAT, where a candidate is left free to imagine and create a situation. A situation is given here. It substantiates and corroborates what a candidate reveals about self in the TAT and the WAT. This test reveals the conscious mind and its working. The ability to solve problems and associated behavior is firmly established here. Clarity of thought process, quick decision taking ability and implementation of solution effectively ensures a candidate to perform better in this test. Now how long will this take? Well, it takes about 35 minutes from the time you are given your instructions to the time you are told to stop writing. It is a test of how you feel think and act in a given situation. You are free to respond in your own unique way. There are no correct or model answers. Now you will be given a booklet consisting of 60, 60 situations. Don't think too much. Write whatever comes to your mind. You may skip a situation if you find it too difficult or complex and you can obviously come back if time permits. Now, it has been seen that in about 20 seconds, an average candidate can write 10 to 12 words legibly. Writing 15 or more word responses will result in reduced time for subsequent situations, increasing pressure and tension which grows exponentially. It adversely affects performance and number of situations that can be attempted will reduce. Practice this too at home, avoiding uncertain verbs like can, could, should, might, may, must, try, should, will, etc. Avoid these words. Use of simple past form of verb like in the thematic appreciation test works better to bring clarity. And my advice to you, as usual, do a Google search for situation reaction test and practice all you can before you go for your SSB. Attempting all 60 solutions is not the key to being recommended. It is the quality of solution and its consistency that matters. But then again, if you want to get through, at least attempt 50 plus situations. Use common sense. Look for a practical solution rather than that of a perfect or ideal one. Tired by now? No, no relief in sight as you will now be administered the self-description test called the SDT. The fourth and last of the psychological tests. Do I he hear a sigh of relief? Well, this test is nothing to be relieved about. This test is an effective and powerful tool in the hands of psychologists to obtain confirmation on your personality traits which you have already displayed in the previous three tests. The SDT is meant to find out the level of insight of the candidate. 
one should be aware of one's strengths and weaknesses making note of behavior comments and tasks allotted one can infer what another person feels about you so a candidate who is aware of his or her strengths can make use of the same to further improve himself right so what happens in this self description test candidates are given 15 minutes now look at this you are asked to write five paragraphs of which will include what is the opinion of your parents about you what is the opinion of your teachers and employers about you what is the opinion of your friends colleagues about you what do you think about yourself and finally what qualities would you like to develop my word of warning it's not as easy as it sounds i would strongly recommend you to have a look at my earlier video on tell me about my yourself for ideas on how to handle this test maintain a good writing speed with legible handwriting the emphasis should be on qualities and patterns of behavior which will provide an insight into your personality traits do mention about the good and bad qualities in the first four paragraphs you can't be all good you can't be all bad be honest and real this will come in handy for answering questions during the personal interview too but do not write strong weaknesses in your self description test make them conditional with certain prefixes do not write your self description test in bullet form but write it in paragraph form the time will allotted is 3 minutes for each paragraph one can write approximately 70 to 75 words for each paragraph seven sentences of approximately 10 words each comprising of four to five good qualities and two to three bad qualities is the most practical way in the last paragraph mention in a systematic and chronological order how you plan to overcome bad or negative qualities mentioned in the first four paragraphs now this may be written in present or future tense unlike the tat or srt which should be in simple past tense now how do you prepare for this there is no internet here where you can go to first discuss with people the good and the bad qualities observed by them in you so that you are more accurate in your description when writing mention the good qualities at one place in the beginning of each paragraph begin with your good qualities followed by negative or bad qualities organize your thoughts cohesively and as with all the tests we have spoken about practice writing at home remember the adage the more you sweat in peace the less you bleed in war practice will make you perfect reading material well there are plenty of books in the market and material on the internet to help you prepare for the ssb refer to them but do not borrow blindly subject it to your logic accept what you are convinced of in case of conflicting inputs go your own way right so that's all from me in this the third video on the ssb selection procedure we shall continue in the fourth video in the seven video series do like this video and do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out 
on my future videos. And if you want to get in touch with me, do drop in a line to sumitacademy20 at gmail.com. I also gratefully acknowledge the information, guidance and help rendered to me by the officers previously posted at the Army and Air Force SSBs and in particular to Anand Verma for publicly sharing a booklet on the subject. Till later then, cheers.